Dude, look at this. The honey hole looks like it's almost out of water, Robert. Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to Pro Am Outdoors. My buddy and I, Robert Hendricks, we went out fishing last weekend at one of our favorite spots, Creek Crappie Fishing. And when we got there, we were shocked. I'm talking about, ah, what happened? The water level was five to six feet low. Now, when you do that in a creek, it gets so low that all your brush and everything you've been fishing has just come up out of water. But we put in anyway, and on this video, I want to show you what you do when the water is super low. You want to go anyway, you may not catch any fish, but you will get to see what's under the water that you've been missing. Dude, my motor flipped. My motor flipped now. Man, look at this. I think he's talking about that over there where the where the inch five. I say right there. That, that one branch sticks out. I say six foot, six to seven foot. Oh really? And this is water lines up in the bank a little bit. Yeah, so we were there on that bank. But if you look at that tree. That big fat part sticking out was even with the water. Now I'm stopping the video right here so that you can actually see where the water level usually is and then where the water level is now. And you can see this giant log that goes down into the water normally would be about 10 foot deep under a normal pool and the crappie just stack up and down through here. I, see, I need my fish finder hooked up so I can see how deep I am. But that's still good where it has some depth, you know. So we got up there, we got some different type of structure. Problem is, in this area, it's so low, this stuff is usually under the water. What the heck, is that a hoot owl? I am paddling today because my dadgum motor quit on me. I don't know what it's about. Hopefully my motor gone out. That would really suck. This creek is usually pretty, pretty good. If you look and see all the structure around here, you can see why it's good when it's up five feet at normal pool. Dude, look at this. Now, I'm glad you get to see it when it's low, because now you're like, hey, look at the structure we could be fishing. You see that tree how it does right there? It'd be crappy all under that thing. You know, the honey hole looks like it's almost out of water, Robert. See where the brushy part is? Need my motor working. This is creek crappie for you, but I can't believe it's this low. Well, I'm actually fiberglassed that it is actually this low. All this structure right here is usually underwater up to that line or up to that tree right there. Now I'm stopping this video again to just to show you where the normal water line is, but where the fish normally would be. But always do a marker on the land that would be out of water. Look at that, take a picture of it, so you know how far off the bank you can actually fish for it. That's usually totally underwater. This is crazy. Now, we met somebody at the ramp and they told us that at the dam, there's a big log that's hung up in the spillover, so that's why this is so low, because they gotta get that log out. out.
trying to keep it quiet. So I don't disturb all the fishing spots. This is the best spot here along this edge, especially when it's underwater. You can see why. You got so much stuff to offer right here. You're sitting right on top of the drop off, I think. There's a little drop off right there. Man. Here's a spot that I fished before, and this is a really cool lay down. The fish will stack up back and forth down the lay down. So where's the marker? It's that tree sticking up. So when I go back fishing, I'll come off that tree so many feet, I know that lay down is there. Robert, look to your left. See that tree hanging over, two big trees together? That was that time we were out and I threw the slip fork up underneath it. And that's, that's how I, right up there, that, those fish are underneath that. Well, you know that hole, like that, that point that that little river comes in, yeah, it's just right up there. You want to just skip all this stuff and move on to it? All the good stuff is out of the water. Gotcha. That thing's got some torque. <laughs> That'd be real good when the water's up. Go right by and see if there's any other brush. We got a log coming down. Alright, let's get back out. Anything? Try and take a mental note of that tree up there so we know this brush pile right here, you know? That whole brush pile will be underwater when the water's up to where it's supposed to be. And that's a good looking brush pile. Now here's another spot, as you can see, that little right away coming down, these fish can stack under here and they won't be up and down, they'll be scattered because this is a pretty good sized brush pile, but once again, there's the marker. Well, Robert Hendricks and I decided to go ahead and head on back. We had a really good day today. We saw some really cool places that we haven't fished before because the water level was so low we got out there and did some really cool searching you need to do that next time get out there look at the water when it's low you'll see some spots that you missed that could hold some really good fish so go ahead and get out there have a great time look around see what you can see we're over 800 subscribers right now trying to reach that thousand mark so go ahead hit that subscribe button help us get to that awesome mark of a thousand this is Marcus Moros with Pro-Am Outdoors. Remember, keep your line wet, your hook sharp. We'll see you next time.